This is the extension you need to get the best use out of ChatGPT. Hey, David here with Saw Affiliate Reviews. Yes. And we're going to be going over ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and dive yes. right in. So right now I'm on ChatGPT, guys, and I'm on my Plus account. You can see here that I'm looking at this extension, AIPRM Chat GPT Prompts. And what this will do is it will be a database of different prompts. You can have your own prompts. I haven't put them in yet, but I will. I actually have some templates that I am using, and I can tell you more about that later in a different video. But there's going to be a lot of prompts that are already here that are going to help you out right away. Human written plagiarism free. SEO optimized content. Fantastic. Just uploaded 17 hours ago. Um, Outrank article. You have mid journey prompt generator, smart and detailed article writer with H tags. Now, if you don't know what H tags are, these are going to be in code so that you have headings for your articles. Um, you have different types of headings, such as you see here, the text is very big, bold, black. You can see under on SEO, it's a little bit lower. Keyword strategy. These are all really great tools that you can use. And all you have to do is click them. One click blog post. I will just click. And then I just put in my prompt yoga. And go. And in seconds, it's going to start writing this out. So this is a really good extension. I have a lot of extensions. This is one of the better ones. We're going to go ahead and take a look at why this extension is so powerful and where you can get it from. So now we are here on the incognito window and you can see this is where you're, you're this is where you're going to get the extension. You type in chat GPT extension AIPRM. Now you should have it on Google Chrome. I have it on Google Chrome right here. And if you're liking the video so far, like the video and remind you to please like the video. Let's go ahead and click here so you can take a look. Oh yeah. And this has definitely gone up when I got it. It was about 55. Now there's 173 reviews for it. Five stars. People are really liking it or using it. You can now add extension to incognito window. That's fair enough. So um, I'm doing incognito window for myself last updated on the 31st of January. So just um, about nine days ago. And it gives you a little bit of a description what it is. Very simple. You get the prompt and you go ahead and use it. OK, let's go ahead and go right back to the prompt and use it on a couple of things. Now, first, I want to remind you that Jap Jap excuse me, chat GPT does have certain limits in place. These limits are put in place to safeguard against specific things that can be a problem. People were going a little too crazy with the powers of chat GPT that said it shouldn't get in our way. We're going to jump right back to my main screen and I'm going to share it full screen it for you right here. And let's go ahead and take a look at this prompt as we let it finish. So we said to do a blog post about yoga. And it did a fantastic job. Let's go to the top. Content brief, yoga, top level keywords, all there. Long tail keywords, all there. Header outline, introduction, the fundamentals. Well, we went too far. Types of yoga. Oh, yes. Great, great. So far, getting started with yoga, finding the class, private space, essential equipment, tips for beginners, and uh, five, conclusion, summary, benefits, notes, title tags, meta descriptions, blog post, introduction, fundamentals. This is extremely detailed. Now, ChatGPT does have those limitations we talked about. So you see how it says 406 words. We're going to kindly come down here to continue. And it's going to say continue writing, please, as we click that tab. And it's picking up where we left off and meditation and we're just going to let it go out and finish the blog post the blog post will probably be around somewhere from a thousand to two thousand words i didn't give it specifics to be any longer i probably could have and that's something that you might want to play around with giving it more specifics to be a little bit longer but you can see in real time just how powerful 
this tool is. So we're going to try another one in about, let's give it a couple seconds to go a little further. And we're going to try another prompt about now. So I was looking through this and I remembered that I can search a post. So let's go with viral. Let's see if anything that has viral comes up. It's got a prompt generator. So if you need a prompt, you can use this to help you generate prompts, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and click that. I'll take a look at what it is. Now, what prompt do I want? I want this prompt to act as a lawyer. And now this is asking ChatGPT to act as a specific lawyer. Great. So I'm going to copy that, new chat, paste it all in. see my first task is to defend parking ticket target language judge and you can see how this is so beneficial It's literally acting as a lawyer defending a parking ticket and writing this and composing it in an effort to um, allow it to happen for a judge. And it's doing a really good job of details. This is insane. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm going to jump back on screen. So that came out pretty good. Perfect. Really liked it. I'm pretty amazed by this. I hope you guys are as well. So please take a look at it. Again, if you forgot what it's called, it is AIPRM. You're going to follow the instructions that I placed out in this video. Go get that extension added on today. Should take about a minute to add on. It's pretty quick. And it took me about 10 minutes of playing around with it to really get through the learning curve and understand how it works. But basically, it's just going to be a one click type of method. You click on the prompt that you want. What I'm doing right now is a prompt within a prompt, which is pretty excellent. It's working out very well. So keep an eye on some of these types of little features in ChatGPT and use them to your advantage. And we'll see you with the next one soon.